and I understand why, at a website where you go to buy something, you might want to leave a review. Like Amazon, for example. There, it's citizen journalism. You're helping other people to make informed purchasing choices. That makes sense. Even on Furniture 123, it makes sense. But there are other websites that I have no idea why they exist. I don't know why anyone would go to them. And when they're there, I have no idea why they would leave a review. Why on this earth would anyone wish to visit finish.co.uk? <laughs> How much information could you want to know about dishwashing that you can't find elsewhere? Incidentally, though, they do have an Anne Diamond standard, so that's... <laughs> that's handy. Um... <laughs> They don't really, I photoshopped that bit in. They have a diamond standard, I added an Anne, that's all it was. But really, look, let's leave a review now. Why would you leave a review of dishwashing tablets at finish.co.uk? What possible advantage are you getting by telling them what you think of their dishwashing tablets on their website? It makes no sense whatsoever. But lots of people do. 3,930 reviews had been posted by the time I visited finish.co.uk. One of them comes from a girl called Claire, who's from Sunderland. She's aged between 35 and 44. She is female, has a small family, and uses her dishwasher daily. And now this was on page one of 1,817 pages of reviews. That's weird, isn't it? Why are so many people doing this? And why would any of them wish to share it with Facebook or Twitter? This is her review. I really cannot believe the difference in this dishwasher tablet compared to other brands. I was amazed by the sparkle and smell. This product is brilliant, and I would highly recommend it. Now, that's fine. If that's what she thinks, that's what she thinks. Twelve people found those words helpful. <laughs> Weirder than that, five people found them unhelpful. What were they trying to achieve that was hindered by reading those words? There's 12 people there, five people there, and Claire herself. That is 18 people who I think have got the time to do the dishes by hand. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? This is the full range. This is the full range of dishwasher tablets available from Finish. They have the top of the range, Quantum, the middle of the range, the all-in-one, and the bottom of the range is the Classic, okay? Now, the Quantum has eight power actions. The all-in-one has only six power actions, and the Classic, just two power actions. Now, already, I take issue with Finish on a linguistic technicality. Um, let's look at the two at the top of the range here, the Quantum and the all-in-one. Let's just compare them here. Uh, quantum, what does quantum mean? Well, according to dictionary.com, quantum means either, one, a quantity or amount, the least quantum of evidence, or two, a particular amount, or three, a share or portion, or four, a large quantity, bulk. Or, in the world of physics, it could mean something that I haven't got a clue <laughs> about. I think it's fair to summarise those various definitions as some. That's fair, isn't it? That's what it means. It means some, a part of, a bit of. That's basically what it means. However, all, according to dictionary.com, I think we can summarise that one as meaning all. <laughs> now, is it just me, or, or am, I, am I alone? And thinking that all is necessarily bigger than some. All has to be all of something. Some has to be some of something. They can't, well, that has to be bigger than that, doesn't it? So how come all has six power actions and some has eight power actions? That makes no sense whatsoever. But then you can't expect it to because the power actions don't really make up sense at all. This is the first two. The first two power actions as shared by all of the dishwashing tablets in the brand. Powerful clean and tea stain removal. Ladies and gentlemen, who amongst us has ever taken a mug out of the dishwasher and said, I'll tell you what, that is powerfully clean. <laughs> Mind you, it's tea stained to buggery. <laughs> you can't be tea stained and be powerfully clean, can you? They're, not, they're mutually exclusive things. You can't have them both as power actions, can you? This Venn diagram has never existed before, has it? <laughs> it's not necessary, is it? No. I mean, the world where that Venn diagram exists, you can't be there, can you? It's not possible. You can't be powerfully clean but tea stained. I'm not having they're not separate actions, are they? Next two, salt function and rinse aid function. And the next two, machine lime scale protection and grease cutting. Grease cutting. Ladies and gentlemen, I refer you to my earlier comments. That Venn diagram has never existed. <laughs>
Nothing's ever come out of a dishwasher powerfully clean but covered in grease and tea stains, has it? You can't be there, it doesn't exist. You can't have all three as separate actions, surely. Next two, after that, wrapper free and amazing jack. Wrapper free? Well, since when did not having a wrapper become an action? <laughs> it's not an action. You don't actively not do something. You can't redefine the words action and power, can you? It's got to be active. That's what the word means. It's a clue, isn't it? There are, as far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, five power actions. I think we can all agree on that. Let's all write to the company. I insist that they reduce the number of power actions. Uh, incidentally, this, this is how they've been advertising them. You've probably seen this. Millions of Finnish quantums are being tried across the land, and you are raving about their sparkling clean, giving them 4.8 stars out of 5. All those reviews have added up, haven't they? They've done very well. 4.8 stars out of 5, yeah? Here they are on the website. 4.8 stars out of 5. Which is interesting. Interesting to me. There they are. I can see the first four stars. That must be the four. And then that last one, which isn't complete, that, that must, I must be right here, that must represent the point 0.8 of a star, mustn't it? That, that there must represent 0.8 of a star. Which is interesting to me because 0.8, I don't want to blind you with science here, 0.8 is another way of saying 8 out of 10. And 8 out of 10 is another way of saying 4 out of 5. And that... <laughs> is a five-pointed star. <laughs> but it's just not very hard, is it, to work out what a fifth of a five-pointed star is. It's easy, isn't it? You go, that's it, there you go. Five equal parts, easily done. If you wanted to have four-fifths of a star, it would actually look like that, wouldn't it? That's not quite what they've done, is it? No, no. <laughs> not quite what they've done, something quite different, as far as I can see. And my guess, and it is just a guess, is that what they've actually got there is roughly... <laughs> A fifth of a fifth there, what they've got there is 96% of a star. That is 0.96, not 0.8. And now you've got to question their judgment about everything, haven't you? <laughs> I mean, when they say that something is powerfully clean, how clean do they really think it is? They could be saying it's powerfully clean, thinking they're saying 96% clean. It might only be 80% clean. How do we know the difference anymore? They could mean anything. 4.8, weirdly, this is very weird, 4.8 out of 5 is actually 96%. So you could say that without those four stars, that one represents the full 4.8 out of 5. <laughs> and maybe that's what they meant all along. Maybe if you said, hang on, that's not 4.8 out of 5, they say, what, what, those four stars? No, no, they're always there. No, no. <laughs> they're not part of the measurement. No, no, they're not part of the scale. That's just decoration. No, no. At least, I'll give, I'll give finish this. That's what it should look like. That's what it should look like, absolutely. There's the 4.8 out of 5 stars. I'll give finish credit for something. Their 4.8 stars out of 5 is based on nearly 4,000 people reviewing it. And that says something. They've got a large sample. At least they've done that. Not every company bothers with such a large sample, do they? For example, Rimmel. This is a little snippet 